welcome to discuss most asked questions from geometric dimensioning and tolerancing in interviews in this video we'll discuss 10 most frequently asked questions first 10 basic questions are what is gd and t what is difference between rectangular tolerances and geometric tolerances what are form tolerances how you define datum in case of form tolerances what is difference between circularity and cylindricity what is difference between circularity and concentricity what is difference between straightness and flatness can we use straightness or flatness on cylinder what is mmc modifier on form tolerances can we use MMC modifier with all form tolerances? We will discuss these questions one by one. What is GD and T? As per ASME Y14.5 M1994 revised in 2009, geometric dimensioning is defining complete geometry in a drawing using scheme of dimensions. Geometric tolerancing is controlling form or orientation or location or profile or combination of these. Let us discuss second question. What is difference between rectangular tolerancing or ordinary tolerancing and geometric tolerancing? So in case of rectangular tolerancing, tolerance zone itself is rectangular. Whereas in case of geometric tolerancing, the tolerance zone is cylindrical. It adds more tolerances. So manufacturers will have more tolerance. Let us discuss how. So suppose this plate has a hole and it is located from this surface and this surface by 5 plus or minus 1, 5 plus or minus 1 and diameter is 10 plus or minus 0.5. And in another case, we have given these dimensions as basic dimension. Basic dimension is a di theoretically perfect dimension has no tolerance and we have given instead of these tolerances we have given geometric tolerance tolerance of one diameter one so what will be the difference so in this case suppose this is zero zero so it can go up to six that is plus one and go till four that is minus one same way in this minus one plus one so the zone is rectangular now if we go for this tolerance scheme the zone tolerance zone will be a circular a diameter of one in which this circle can move so there will be one mm diameter or one inch diameter in which the whole axis can lie so if you see this much tolerances are added in case of geometric tolerancing whereas rectangular tol tolerances were more constrained more less so manufacturers will have more tolerances and again these tolerances do not control forms or orientation whereas these tolerances can control form and orientation and the things let us discuss how suppose we have to produce this component and we have defined all the features in the drawing by rectangular tolerancing and we haven't provided any kind of form or orientation tolerances from geometric tolerancing. So consider an example. We have defined this thickness as 2 plus or minus 1. And this thickness as 3 plus or minus 1. These dimensions can form a mating envelope that is unrelated. Unrelated mating envelope. So what that means unrelated mating envelope? That its dimension at every section can be maintained between 2 plus or minus 1 but the form is distorted which will not work same way here as well if you can see the form is distorted but if I get at each section I can find the dimension is within 3 plus or minus 1 so this component may be accepted at inspection but will not work because it is distorted so to communicate 
exact form requirement from design engineer to manufacturing shop we need some language and that is geometric tolerancing now what are the form tolerances the different form tolerances are straightness flatness circularity and cylindricity the symbol is also shown in the table now the question is how you define datum in case of form tolerances so form tolerances are absolute do not require any reference datum the required form should be within given tolerance zone like straightness of a cylinder should be within two straight line as shown it is irrespective of any datum and these tolerance zone are absolute let us discuss fifth and sixth question that is what is difference between circularity and cylindricity and circularity and coaxiality or concentricity so in case of circularity the tolerance zone or envelope is two concentric circles that is the envelope of tolerance is two concentric circles within which the surface profile must lie so suppose this is cylinder and we have given circularity of 3 on this if we cut at different different sections so suppose on section aa we cut over there and put the dial gauge and dial we rotate this part and dial gauge dips to minus 1 and plus 2 that is the difference between these two reading is 3 that is within the zone and we place at section bb so and also again rotate this it goes to plus 1 and minus 2 again the dip is 3 so it will be accepted and similarly at cc 0 to 3 so this component shows circularity error of 3 and it is within or equal to the zone so it will be accepted now suppose on the same section we put cylindricity of 3 so in case of cylindricity the envelope is two concentric cylinders within which surface profile must lie so in case of cylindricity we put dial gauge at section aa then it dips from minus 1 to plus 2 the difference between two reading is 3 and then we put same way on section bb it goes to minus 2 and plus 1 and on section cc is go to 0 and plus 3 so we do not take individual readings we take maximum difference so here in case of uh, cylindricity it is minus 2 and plus 3 so error goes from minus 2 to plus 3 that is 5 whereas cylindricity defines is 3 so it will be rejected the same component with same tolerance will be rejected in case of cylindricity and will be accepted in case of circularity so the cylindricity con controls straightness plus circularity so it is combination of two tolerances that is straightness plus circularity whereas circularity is individual section property and cylindricity is complete profile now in case of coaxiality or concentricity we have to define a datum so suppose in this component we have defined this feature as a datum and we we have given this feature concentricity of 3 with respect to a now what will happen in this case we have to hold this hold this feature to establish datum axis and then for this feature we have to derive a median line so for each and every individual element we will mark the mid points and we will form a tolerance zone and that tolerance zone should be within this axis diameter so there will be a diameter of around this axis and all the points should fall within that so that is coaxiality or concentricity whereas circularity is in this case envelope is just simple two circles and within which the surface profile must form let us discuss question 7 8 and 9 so in case of a straightness 
द एनवेलोप द टॉलरेंस जोन इज टू पैदल लाइन वेर एज इन केस ऑफ फ्लैटनेस द टॉलरेंस जोन इज इन बिटवीन टू पैदल प्लेन सो सपोज इन दिस प्लेट वी हैव गिवेन स्ट्रेटनेस सो वी हैव टू मूव द डायल गेज इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड मैक्सिमम डिप विल बी मेजर सो दैट विल बी द स्ट्रेटनेस एर वेर एज इन केस ऑफ फ्लैटनेस द डायल गेज विल बी moved everywhere and the maximum difference reading of reading will be taken that will be in between two parallel planes so the tolerance zone or envelope is two parallel planes whereas in case of straightness it is two parallel lines and yes straightness can be given on a cylinder as well as we can put dial gaze and drag it into a straight line and we can measure the maximum dip whereas it cannot be flat as it is it is a cylinder so straightness can be applied to a cylinder now when we apply maximum material modifier in case of form modifier that is straightness what will happen suppose this is a shaft of diameter 10 or plus uh, 10 plus or minus 1 and has a straightness of 0.5 with respect to maximum material modifier so this modifiers shows that the maximum material condition is important for us on which we will put tight tolerances and apart from that we have some bonus tolerances how it will act what is maximum material condition for a shaft in case of 10 plus or minus 1 that is 11 mm so that is important for us and we allow only 0.5 of straightness error over there but suppose it departs from mmc towards lmc 10.5 we get additional amount of departure as a form tolerance again it departed to 10 so we have 1 plus 0.5 that is 1.5 of form error we can allow and it goes to now its lmc that is 9 we will get maximum bonus that is 2 plus 0.5 this gtol so this is how it acts when we we will put a modifier of mmc or lmc over there now the question is can we use mmc modifier with all form tolerances the answer is no circularity and cylindricity are applied only on rfs basis that is regardless of feature size and mmc and lmc modifier can be used with straightness and flatness Thank you for watching the video. Next video in this series will have more ten question regarding geometric dimensioning and tolerancing frequently asked in interviews. Thank you.